Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. This tutorial is Momo Mitchell inspired look and the theme that I created is a Nigerian uh, bridal kind of a look. So I'm gonna start off with her eyebrows. Uh, she has a like a really good bushy eyebrow so I wanted to keep it really natural. So what I did is I comb her eyebrows here with the bra soap and then I'm just filling the uh, tail of the eyebrows with the Makeup Revolution Bra Pomade and now I'm going to carve her eyebrows with the Pilois uh, base in the shade Peach. I'm gonna first uh, apply the eyeshadow from the Secret Sinner palette. Um, the shade that I'm using is uh, called Obsession, and because that is a spotlight eye uh, look, I wanted to make sure that all the eyeshadow are really blend in a structured form, like really, you know, gonna blend in a very small area. I'm not going to you know blend out further away from the eyes I want to keep all the eyeshadow in to the inside of the eyes so I'm gonna blend ever so slightly so I created like a round shape and then I'm, I just blend the edges and now I'm taking the shade feeling from the same palette and uh, with this small fluffier brush I'm gonna blend that feeling eyeshadow right uh, above the obses obsession eyeshadow I'm keeping the feeling eyeshadow 50% above and 50% into it applying the feeling eyeshadow now I'm gonna apply lots of eyeshadow from the same palette and I'm, I am applying with that eyeshadow slightly lower where I apply the obsession uh, eyeshadow and as you can see all the eyeshadow that I blend is a really structure like they are still in a circular shape so this is how you need to go for this kind of look I'm going to apply the Urban Decay Blackout eyeshadow to deepen up the crease area even more the spotlight effect I'm gonna cut the uh, cut her crease right in the middle with this smaller concealer brush and I'm gonna ask my model to open her eyes and look up so I can see um, the concealer how is how far it transfers and according to that I'm gonna cut her crease in the middle The crease I'm gonna set the whole cut crease uh, area with the matte eyeshadow uh, from the original P. Louise palette and that shade called Trip Trippany and that is a like a really nude kind of eye shade so I'm gonna fill this area with this eyeshadow now I, I'm gonna uh, apply the Urban Decay Blackout eyeshadow right on the corners of the cut crease and uh, I am just you know packing my brush on this area I'm not blending the eyeshadow because it's a matte eyeshadow so when you blend the matte eyeshadow on the eyelid it just uh, started to shred so it wouldn't stick that well so just I'm just packing on the eyeshadow and now I'm packing on the eyeshadow uh, lustre on top of the Urban Decay and I'm creating a umbrella kind of a like an open umbrella kind of a you know structure kind of thing and now I'm gonna outline the cut crease with the silver glitter oh, that brand name is um, Collection 2000 yeah the Collection 2000 silver glitter I applied 
right on top of the cut crease and now I'm applying the Inglot gel liner in her waterline and after applying it uh, I'm gonna apply the gel liner on her bottom lash line as well I'm gonna set the uh, lower lash line with the Urban Decay Blackout Eyeshadow and then I'm gonna blend that blackout uh, eyeshadow with the Love, Love Truck Eyeshadow and then further blend it with the Feeling Eyeshadow. On her skin I applied the Clinic Moisturizer first off the camera and I'm using two different shades of foundation from MAC Studio Fix Fluid. One uh, shade that I applied to the outer rim of her face is NW48 and to the inner rim area I apply NC55 because her, her skin is not really light and it's not really dark. So like if there's two different shades going on on her face so according to that I apply the two different shades of foundation and I'm gonna set the foundation by patting my brush. I'm gonna first uh, blend the darker shade and then I'm gonna blend the lighter shade with the cleaning brush. So now I'm gonna highlight her face with the LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Pond. I'm applying it, or you can say I'm spreading uh, the Pond Concealer with the help of flat brush. I already applied the LA Pro Girl um, Coco Dark Coca or something like that. I'm gonna list the shade down below in the description box. So I applied the darker concealer um, on her cheekbone and her jawline. Uh, she has a really small forehead so I didn't apply the contouring, uh, the concealer, darker concealer on her forehead. Now I'm gonna blend the lighter shade first and then I'm gonna blend the uh, darker color uh, after. So I'm you know, setting the concealer with a bigger fluffier brush. Now with the help of stippling brush, I'm gonna blend the uh, contouring concealer which is I think dark coca. So I'm gonna blend that uh, on her cheekbone and jawline, a little bit of forehead but uh, I, I didn't put the actual product on her forehead. Just whatever the leftover on the brush, I'm just applying it on her forehead and then going back with the concealer brush and I'm gonna blend these two uh, like concealer and the contouring together so they will be making sure there will be no harsh edges and now I'm gonna do um, backward contouring. Uh, what I do is I take the flat brush and I apply the on concealer. Uh, I just apply half way through. I didn't apply the you know the all the way straight line and then going back with the concealer brush and I'm gonna blend this uh, darker shade and lighter shade together and I'm now going to highlight her nose with the same point uh, concealer and then whatever left over on my uh, stippling brush I'm gonna apply to the bridge of her nose Now 
I'm gonna bake under eye area and uh, nose, chin as she has a very oily skin so I'm gonna bake uh, the areas. I'm setting the uh, contouring air with the sleek uh, contour powder in the shade dark. I'm gonna contour that area wherever I apply the dark coca LA Google concealer, and uh, then I'm gonna contour her nose uh, with the small fluffy brush. I'm going to sweep off the excess amount of baking um, the powder that I use for baking and then I'm going to go back with my foundation brush and I'm going to tap off um, in between the uh, light to dark and then I'm going to apply the MAC copper tone uh, blusher on her cheeks and then I'm highlighting her uh, high points of her face with the doll beauty highlighter in the shade shine bright I'm going to outline her lips with the close beauty eyebrow pencil. I'm filling the lips with the matte soft lipstick. So just applying the mascara, this one is a Maybelline and then applying the mink lashes. Applying the V beta liner on top of the eyelashes to hide the lash band. Uh, she has really big eyes and the lash band can be visible on bigger eyes. So to hide the lash band, I'm applying the makeup gallery eyeliner and then I'm going to highlight her in her uh, corner of the eyes with the pieces and cream um, pearl pigment and here's the finished look of the spotlight eye. And I hope you like this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I always post once in a week. So if you want to get the notification, hit the bell icon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!